As a quick little project, I'm going to be building a follow focus to help me shoot video with these photography lenses. Now, these days you can get a decent follow focus for pretty cheap, but the gear you have to put around the lens is always a bit fiddly. If you're using screws, they always seem to loosen, and uh, the uh, zip tie method is a bit uh, awkward and ungainly. Fortunately, with 3D printing, I can easily measure the uh, diameter of the lens focus ring and print a gear with an inner diameter that's exactly the size of that ring so it just slips right in and I'll be guaranteed a tight secure fit without having to resort to screws or zip ties or any other sort. So this one would be around 63... 63.1 Now in theory if you want to adhere to cinema standards, you're going to want to have something that looks like this with a gear pitch of 0 0.8. However, if you send this over to the slicer by exporting it, you'll see there's a small problem. Now, if you compare this to the previous 3D model, it should be fairly obvious that the teeth are way too rounded. Maybe it could work. But we don't really have to adhere to cinema standards in our case, so we can just go back in Fusion and make ourselves a gear that will be way easier to print. Thankfully with the Fusion add-in spur gear it's trivial to just change any old parameter. So I'm selecting the script again and just changing the module from 0 0.8 to 1.6 and having the number of teeth to keep a constant 80 millimeter outer diameter for our lenses. It just takes a moment for the gear to appear there you have it. Now for the inner diameter, we're just going to put a cylinder in the middle. Drop it in a straight, put in the right dimensions, 61.3. And cut out the inner hole. Export it again. Now inside the slicer, you'll see the teeth are much better formed now. There's no loss of resolution. All the detail is present. Now I think we can go ahead and print that. Fingers crossed, it'll fit on the first try. Now with the gear printed up and cleaned, it's time to see if it'll fit in on the first try. Oh, it's a little bit too tight and I don't really want to force it down the lens, so I'm going to sand it down a little. And now from the back, after a bit of sanding, I can easily push it down. Thankfully, the existing ring is already rubbery, so it's no problem to push it down and make it fit all snug. Now, I had to go from the back, so let me just check if the aperture ring is fully functional. Yeah, I didn't damage it during the insertion. So, the focus, yeah, it's butter smooth, it's not slipping at all. Seems to be real nice and snug and ready for part two of the follow focus. See you then.